Okay, my friends, everybody I'm sure has heard of Lilith in one way or another, or perhaps not. However, Lilith was thought to be Adam's first wife, or she, they really don't know who she was. Nobody knows. They, it's a big mystery. Was she really Adam's first wife? And I believe that was the case. From my research, Jody and I have been looking at the ancient texts and the Anunnaki and all these things. And I believe, and I'm not going to go back and dig it up right now, somebody can fill me in on this, do a little research your own. There was some text in there that said that when they made Adam and they made his first wife, he just didn't like her. <laughs> she was not acceptable. It was nothing like this. <laughs> now, and, um, and so apparently he got another wife, which was something like this. Now, what was the first wife? like let's listen to what it has to say about Lilith first of all associated with Satan and Adam and so on Adam's first wife sometime around the 700s to 1000 CE some Jews began interpreting that the Lilith was the woman from Genesis 1 27 so God created man in his own image in the image of God created he him male and female created he them all right, this is, this, is, this is very obvious. He created them both at the same time, male and female. He didn't take Adam's rib out of them at the same time he created male and female. With this woman being completely different from the woman Eve created later in Genesis 2, 22. In the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to the man. According to this interpretation, woman was created twice by God for Adam once out of clay at the same time as him, and second from Adam and after Adam from his rib. Folklore later goes on to say that the reason for this was that Lilith, the first woman being created from the same clay and independent from Adam, desired her own freedom and was not subservient to him, and thus left him and the Garden of Eden, and by some accounts hooked up with the archangel Samuel and later was transformed into the demoness we talked about prior. As a result, Oops. Built of Lilith piecing out, God decided to create a second woman for Adam, a replacement, this time created from him, and thus would be less independent. This was Eve. This all is not something ever explicitly stated by the Bible. Lilith is never named in Genesis. However, this interpretation of Adam having a first wife and her name being Lilith is something that persists and has been adopted for a lesser extent by Christians. So, why did early Jews think this about Lilith? All right. They had all kinds of thinking. Nobody had any concrete anything, and I don't have any concrete anything. However, what I do have concrete of is an engineered human being, or an engineered hominid. Right, I'm not sure you that. And they talk about engineering these creatures out of clay, and I mean, they maybe put little bones inside them, or little structural things inside them, but form the clay around it. I mean, you can't just take a ball of clay and make it work, I, although they did somehow. But I, I got a feeling they put some structure inside of it. Nobody ever talked about it, but they said they pulled a rib bone out of where the rib bone come from. So anyway, let's, um, let's go forward. All right, I, I think this is kind of funny, actually. But let's say the first half, uh, Eve was like this. I mean, you know, you know I mean, is it a return policy? I don't know. You know, you're dealing with God, so I'd be a little careful about what you return, but maybe Adam says, mm, can you do a little better? Let's say I put it that way. And God said, oh, you're going to have to go to sleep and then I'll yank one of your ribs and I'll make somebody look just like you. I don't know. No clue. Or maybe that. <laughs> that's um, from my good friend Kim. And that's real. I know for a fact that is absolutely 100% was alive. There's arteries, veins, the lip skin, the eye skin, the creases, the deep creases, the crack, the blood, the every single thing, 100%, no question whatsoever that was alive. Maybe that was Eve. Maybe that was Eve. Who would say? I can tell you this right now, that is a leg from some kind of an hominid. That's the foot right there, and that goes up to the leg, and these are pins and, and that, those were, those were springs, of course it would be like this. That is the tenderness strappy material that bolts this whole thing together. That's 
biological and that red blood is biological whether it was constructed and then just grown or whether it was laminated and bolted together I have no clue but I have a feeling this was the things that they were talking about in the ancient Anunnaki texts of how they constructed creatures to to work with us and they did all kinds of biological this and that and created all kinds of monsters absolute absolute insanity and it was rooted in fact I don't care what you say I have found the evidence that absolutely proves this dragons and I mean just I'm not even going to go into the details now right, I'm going to wrap it up with this that is that spring assembly that I showed you on that other foot she's got a whole batch of these the other one had the leg coming up straight up this way now that is the spring assembly it twists up this way that's a torsion spring and that will pull this up and that's a torsion spring you've got it, it works exactly like tendons that is the ball which they call a calcaneal hand and a calcaneus heel bone right there see it right there same thing all right and that strap right there goes right up to the saddle where the bone sits right up above here same thing the strap goes right up now at this point they hadn't come up with tendons yet that's all I can tell you and that is one of these styles feet that has a road and normally they don't have any toes sticking out like mine here they have this is one in my shop I have some a whole bunch of these too tissues are eroded it's almost like doing a cat scan into them she, and she has I, I, unbelievable number of these and she's got the tools she's got bones she's got organs she's got and it is a viable site nobody's interested so that's what it is so we are going to probably do something at um, Mud Fossil College. We're going to try to recruit volunteers and so forth. There's not going to be any money here really to speak of that I know about. Uh, I'm certainly not wanting money. I just want to see this, uh, you know, seen for what it is. All right, thank you. God bless you.